black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with a little mukbang action today. German, European inspired, maybe? Sausage. And we have the pretzel here, of course. A little salty, nice and uh, dark. And of course, we got the cheese sauce on deck. So like the fondue of it all. As you can see, I already got one wiener dunked in that sauce. Nice and steamy, obviously, as you can see. Mainly because I needed to get the thumbnail. And, uh... It's a little bit disappointing. I wanted to have first dunk on cam, but I mean, come on. It's still looking nice, right? Let's give you guys a little up close and percy of that without without that drip. That's very intimidating to me. That steam coming off right there is indicative, indicative. This is a very phallic video, as you can see. It's very indicative of my mouth being burned off by this uh, cock-shaped item. So... Uh, I'm maybe, I don't know, I'm very hesitant on this right now. Uh, maybe I'll take this moment to do a little advertising break. I have those hoodies up on the merch site. Um, link will be in the description. Six days left. It was a 15 day campaign. There's six days left. If you'd like to cop one, please go down to the uh, link in the description. Click in there, cop one, two, three, four. I don't know, just cop, you know what I mean? Uh, rep for the hoodlum, be a hoodlum. If you like the design, no pressure other than if you like it, you know what I mean? If you got the money to spend and all that shit, you go right on ahead and get yourself a hoodie. I'm very excited for this video. Earlier I said it was German inspired, but uh, I'd be lying. That's actually not true. It was Asian inspired. And you were probably wondering, how is this Asian inspired? Well, it was inspired by another mukbanger by the name of Tian Li. I've been following his channel for quite some time. He's an OG rider in the community, I'd say. Um, and he's kind of taken a little bit of a hiatus every once in a while here and there for the last little bit, but he kind of keeps coming back with some bangers. And um, he did these along with uh, some seafood. And when I was watching it, the sea, the sausage with the cheese, I couldn't help but want to do a video on it. It just looked so, so fire, as you can see here. Sausage and cheese just pairs up so well. And if any of you guys watch Tian Lee, you know that he enjoys phallic foods for a multitude of reasons. It's not quite the same over here, but Tian does him, and I love him for it. He is who he is. He's a funny guy. Got the pretzel for the cheese dunk. I don't know if I'm getting that on cam or what, but I just feel like that jar is kind of in the way. Some of my viewers probably might not know what the word phallic means. And uh, to save you the Google search, it loosely translates to dick shape. Shape like a dick. 
phallic. I can just imagine the comments on what we're gonna be like on this video. But what else? I ain't nervous. I'm secure. This is so good. They say that everything tastes better on a stick. Any food on a stick is always taste always tastes better. Oh, hot. Holy fuck. I believe that. It really does. I have some more uh, meat on stick videos coming. I want to do um, some kebabs and I want to do like steak and chicken and stuff like that. Mm -mm. So good. Because I'm eating this phallic food, I actually have a story, a little bit of story. Regarding YouTube and sponsorships, and a light phallic note, and it goes a little something like this. As you get a bit bigger on YouTube, sponsors reach out to you for videos. brands and shit and whatnot like that. So recently I was reached out to by somebody from China regarding a sponsored video for a mobile app game that's like create your own restaurant, be your own chef, like the, one of those types of games. Where you like create and manage and run your own restaurant and cook and shit. And so, in the body of the email, they ask you, like, they give you a little rundown of, like, the, the app, the product, and uh, kind of what they want you to do. And then they ask you for your price quote. And so, I, like, looked at it, I thought about it, da-da-da-da-da. I was like, okay, this looks like a cool opportunity. I'm down. So I responded with my price quote. We got juice. And then they were, it was a lady, I, like her name was Janice, was like what the, she was signing off with. And uh, she responded with like, all right, that's an acceptable price. Uh, we'd like to move forward. We just need X amount of details of you 
and then we'll write up the contract and then we can do like an online signing of the contract. So, she sends me the information that she needs from me and it's like, need like your country, like your country of origin, um, your driver's license, your passport, social insurance, all this shit that's like very fishy. And in light of my recent scam issues, and I mean, people are always trying to scam me through business deals on YouTube. That's just normal. It's just like par for the course. But um, in light of my recent being stolen from from a cab driver and having to get my money back from that, I was super on edge and super jaded. I'm just very like annoyed and pissed off at the scam world because it's made me very untrusting of people now. And I hate having to live like that. I don't want to live like that. You know? I just want to eat, drink, and be merry. But, hey, people suck, what can you do? Anyways, so I immediately think to myself, okay, this is definitely a scam, obviously. Who asked for that kind of information? And this proposal looked very, very professional. So, I just get super aggressive. So I write back, I'm like, I'm like, good try, fucking scam artist, eat a dick and die, is what I say <laughs> in this email. And I get a response back <laughs> from like Janice, this like, business lady right or whatever is that they're maybe posing as I don't know and she goes black hoodie as a professional woman in the business world I don't even know how, what to think or how to react to that comment but why are you so mad and then I responded to them I'm like no one in their right mind would ever give away that information, and that's information that you should never need to know for a simple internet business deal transaction. And so her response was, like, my apologies, our business customs are different in, in China that's normal for us to ask for that information from our clients or whatever. And I'm like, oh, and then she's like, we'd still like to move forward and do business with you. And I said, well, if we do, I'm only going to give you very limited information. I'm not going to give you anything but where to deposit the money. You can have my channel name and my email. That's it. So they agreed to that and sent me like this contract. I read through it pretty wordy but it all looked pretty good so I told them I was ready to move forward rather than they just went they, they've gone silent now for like a week They uh, went MIA on me, so 
I think my instinct was right. I think it's just a scam. And they knew that they were trying to bring me in further and see if maybe I would surrender some of that information, but obviously I didn't, and now they're just cold, so. That's a heads up to y'all out there. Anybody, if you're ever doing YouTube shit, be very diligent. Trust your instincts. Do your research. You can always Google everything. All the company that contacts you, you can Google everything. Try your best to decipher whether or not it's legit. And you can also follow the old rule of if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And never give away super personal information like that where it's like event essentially identity theft. Don't be too gullible. Money is very blinding at times. Look at this little nub. This little pretzel nub. I'm getting full and this cheese is so rich, but I want to finish that because I fucking never finish the food in my videos. It's killing me lately. I feel like such a failure, but... I guess I did just eat four sausages and two pretzels, though. So. You can't really roast me for that, you know what I mean? Should I go for it? I really don't want to. It's going to make me feel sick if I do. I can't do it. I'll be a little, uh, a little, uh, dick snack for later. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I did. Till the next one. Eat good, live well, stay true, cop a hoodie. You know what I mean? All right. Peace.